Are you sick and tired of getting so many swing thoughts stuck in your head and when you go out on the golf course and you try and think of them all, you end up duffing the shot, thinning the shot, shanking the shot, you name it. Well, this is the perfect video for you to be watching because I'm going to be teaching you today how to simplify the golf swing in only one minute. If you're fairly new to the channel, my name is Harry, PGA Assistant Golf Professional down at Delamere Forest Golf Club. If you do enjoy this video and enjoy future content I produce, go ahead and hit the subscribe button as it helps me promote my brand and improve my content for all you to watch and learn and improve your golf from. So in this video, we're going to be talking about how we can simplify the golf swing in one minute. Yes, you heard me, one single minute. Just before I teach you this, you need to understand that it's so important that you get the swing plane and the club face relationship to the swing plane spot on in order to simplify that golf swing. And by doing this, you would have noticed in a few of my videos or other videos online where they teach you to actually rotate your body back and forth. And it is correct. It naturally puts you into good positions to get the correct swing sequence. But how do you get into those correct positions? Just by turning? Or well, what's turning? Do you stand up and do this? Do you lean over and do that? I'm going to be teaching you the correct posture first and then we'll move on to simplifying that golf swing for you so when you go on the golf course you find that it's so much easier to play golf because all you're thinking about is one to two little tips how good does that sound let's get straight into it talking about posture then it's really important that we give ourselves enough room to be able to hit the ball because when you set up into a golf posture on the downswing if you're too close to the ball the club and the hands can get very stuck causing the club face to stay open or you're having to flick it and it could go miles off to the right or miles off to the left and we don't want that it's really important just to stand the correct distance away from the ball and for specifics like a six iron all you need to do is take two one and a half feet away from the ball take your stance and that's fine okay from here we're going to bend our knees slightly put the club across our shoulders we're going to tilt over from the hips keeping our back nice and straight no sort of hunching but also anterior pelvic tilts either we don't want to see the c shape or the s shape either we want to see it nice and straight not too much though so that it hurts just nice and comfortable once we're set up into this position here we're ready to take the shot so moving on to simplifying the golf swing in order for you to rotate in the correct way it's important that you maintain your spine angle and when i say this so many people think oh i must stay still and swing to the top no that's not rotating at all many people also say oh i must keep my head still and they don't turn at all the left arm bends causing miss hits and off center strikes we don't want to do that either we want to be able to rotate our shoulders and our hips to around 90 degrees and you can see there if you were to draw a line from where my spine is to neutral it doesn't really move it just twists around you tend to see so many people they either sway like this that's not turning or they keep the head still and they just move their arms up so we want to see rotation we don't want to see it pointing at the ball we want to see it slightly above the ball but not vertical to the ground once you've had a couple of practice swings doing that take the club and make a proper practice swing to the top rotating all the way back and you should find yourself in a very comfortable position where the left arm is fairly straight and the right arm is bent with a really good wrist position at the top of the swing when you're in this position at the top of the swing then all you're going to do is rotate back through let me give you a good demonstration from this point you're just going to put the club across your shoulders like so into the posture i mentioned and from here you're just turning back and doing the same thing on the way through and then to finish off bring the right heel off the ground let's do that again we're going to turn back through right heel off the ground the right heel should naturally come up and you can see there straight away when i did that my spine angle came further up because you've hit the ball already doesn't matter so going back to what i said before making sure the club face relationship with the swing is spot on so we're going to do this by putting two clubs on the ground now my target behind the ball so far so that the club head with the club that i'm swinging doesn't hit the grip end but not too far away so that i can't see the club i want to be able to see that whole that takeaway you're going to take the club along that line just to this point here 
This is what many golfers call position one, P1 in the golf swing, which is a great first position to get into in the backswing. And as we follow through, we're rotating again, trying to make sure that our club from our eye line again is hovering over that second club, which is there. Because I tend to see so many people when they do this turn, they almost think, right, I must really turn, so I'm gonna get the club right around my body, which creates a very flat swing plane, get stuck on the inside, early extend out before you've even hit the ball, leading to that massive push slice, or you flick it to right, try and wrap the ball around, causing that hook. Okay, so I've set those two clubs there. All I'm thinking about is rotating back and through, making sure club head hovers over that line, imaginary line on the way back, and the imaginary line on the way through. With a four iron, now that's not ideal, but I'll give it a go. Okay, so I did pull that one a little bit too much from what I like. I tend to play with a little draw, and my tendency is to hit that sort of little hockey shot. However, I was able to get the club head traveling across this imaginary line on the way back and the imaginary line on the way through. Go ahead and give us a try and let me know what you think by commenting down below.